Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. And you? Very good, very good. Okay. Ready. I'm ready, teacher. I'm Excellent. ready. <laughs> yes. Excellent. My better is my daughter is better today. Ah, good news. Yeah. Thank God. Thank God. Huh? And how old is she? Uh, she is 12 years old. Ah, okay. Yes. Almost a teenager. Almost, almost. Almost a teenager, yes. <laughs> Is your only girl? Is your only daughter? Yes. Ah. It's my only daughter. Okay. But you... thank God she's better today. Okay, good. Thank you. Doesn't she want a brother or a sister? I have four sisters and four brothers. You? We are, yes, we are nice. <laughs> wow. Yeah. But your your daughter needs a brother or a sister. No, my daughter <laughs> is <laughs> unique. <laughs> yeah. That's why she needs a brother or a sister. No. No. <laughs> Not this moment. <laughs> it's so much difficult. I have four. I have four kids. Four? Yeah. Ah. See, uh, <clears throat> daughter and son? Three girls and one boy. Ooh. <laughs> the first, <laughs> the, the last? No, no. The, the boy middle. is the third. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Two girls, one boy, one girl. Ah, <laughs> nice. Yes, but my, my little girl is 21 this in December. The little girl? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah. It's, Adulto, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Adult. Uh -huh. Adult. Adult. Sí, es adult. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's why I enjoy my granddaughter a lot. My first granddaughter. Ah. <laughs> how, old are, how old are she? She is uh, 11 months. <laughs> yes. little, little, little. It's beautiful. Yeah. Me imagine. <laughs> <Está bien entretenido. laughs> yeah, sometimes, yeah. Well, because he always come here in the afternoon. Ah, in the afternoon. Yes. It's nice. Okay, people, let's get it started tonight, okay? Tonight is Thursday. Remember, we finish section two tomorrow. So that means that all the exercises, all the homeworks for section two must be completed. Good evening, Myra. And the, the midterm exam as well. The midterm exam. Tomorrow is the due date. A fecha limited. Tomorrow is the due date. Yes, Myra? Yes, uh, sorry. Um, today and tomorrow, I am only listener because uh, the personal administration 
helping in the store for the Black Friday and pre Ooh. and pre Black Friday. Oh, yeah, crazy weekend from from the six to to nine or to ten p.m. Six to ten p.m. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, very good. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah, today in my job in the morning, it was nice. I only had two calls. During the whole shift, only had two calls. Because it's Thanksgiving in the United States. So I was relaxed. I just received two calls. <laughs> tomorrow, I hope, I think they are, not everyone is working tomorrow. Yeah, but, but it was nice today. And very short calls, very short calls. Great. Okay, people, let's take the attendance, the first attendance tonight. Okay, please, cameras on and respond present. Miguel Angel Dominguez. Okay, welcome, Miguel. Olga Marleni Gomez. Present teacher. Very good. Welcome. I didn't see the volume of my eye. Uh, Give me a second, I need to, oh. Okay. Um, next is Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present teacher. Very good. Senaida America Dominguez. Present teacher. Okay. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Very good. Anadelmi Herrera. Missing in action. Anadelmi. Oh, that's terrible. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Present teacher. Very good. Welcome. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Present teacher. Excellent. Welcome. Thank you. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present. Okay. Good. Nelson Ivan Alfaro. Nelson Ivan. Not yet. Carla Verónica Suria. Present teacher. Okay, good evening. Ángel uh, Alexander Guardado. Ángel Alexander. And let me see who is. Okay, tonight's personal session is with Marisol. Okay, Marisol. Okay, teacher. Okay, so we are going to talk a lot tonight. <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Irma de Los Angeles Flores. Present teacher. Hello, Irma. Hello, teacher. Hey, you changed your look or not? Yes. Ah, <laughs> it's going to be party, party. Yes. <laughs> Mayra Roxana Hernandez. Oh, she's a listener. She's selling at Sara. Carlos Alberto Melendez. Present. Good evening. Good evening, Carlos. Carolina Jamilet Hernandez. Good evening, teacher. Present. 
Good evening, Caroline. Silvia Suleima Rodriguez. Silvia. Present. Okay. Welcome to the jungle. Uh, Silvia Enrique Cortez. Present. Okay, welcome. And Joanna Beatriz Orellana. Present. Very good. Welcome. Okay, great. Uh, okay. <clears throat> now, go to the material tonight. Let me share the screen. Uh, oh. Okay, last night uh, we finished uh, responding these questions about the schedule or of the restaurant. Okay, you work on these questions and you responded the questions. And uh, tonight you have to write five questions, okay? Five questions about these people or uh, in the restaurant and respond the questions, okay? So we are going to, I'm going to give you a few minutes to finish with this. If you um, finish already, raise your hand so I will know that you finish with this exercise, okay? Exercise five, page 24, write five questions on your own and ask them to a classmate first. Write five questions about this schedule. And then I'm going to send you in groups to ask each other, okay? Va a preguntarse unos a otros. Remember that? Recuerdan eso, verdad? Que en eso estábamos? When you finish, raise your hand. Hey, Carlos is done. Perfect.
teacher, disculpe, las preguntas las vamos a hacer de acuerdo a la misma información de la página 23. Yes, the schedule. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Linda is done. Perfect. Good, Carla Veronica is done. Perfect.
Okay, people, I'm going to form the groups and you're going to practice with your questions, okay? Join the groups, please. Okay, who is in charge of taking orders during the afternoon shift? Um, the afternoon shift uh, in the restaurant is Mario Milano and is Camilla Luis and Karen Wilkins are in charge of the cashier. No. Okay. Entonces, entonces en el otro es jugar in the in Mario is in charge the taker order in yes. the in the afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, number four. Eh, this is who is in charge of taking order during the morning shift. Quienes son los que ordenan en el turno de la mañana. Y los que ordenan son Jorge Milano y Carlos Guardián. Y la cinco, la five. Eh, dice, what does Matthew do? ¿Qué, qué hace Mateo? The restaurant. He is order taker doing order taker in the restaurant. Number five, according to the schedule.
I unmute, I unmute, okay. Welcome back. So let's practice, okay, in this, in this way. Um, okay, I'm, I'm going to call one of you and you are going to ask one question to someone else in the group. Okay, it's your choice. You, it's your decision. Who are you going to ask your question? All right. So let's start with uh, Carlos. Carlos, ask one question to um, to any classmate. Mm -hmm. Sunaida. Okay. Sunaida, uh, what does Linda do? Uh -huh. I don't listen. What does Linda do? What does Linda do? Uh huh. Yes. Um, Linda does receive class now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Linda is. It's, it's uh, about. It's about Linda Harris. Who is Linda? Page page twenty third. <laughs> That classmate. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think it's my classmate. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, um, would you mind repeat, please, the question? What does Linda do? Um, our Linda does cook. Um. In PM chief. Mm -hmm. Senaida, What is the question about? What does Linda do? The question is about occupation. Um, Linda cook. Linda. Linda. Is uh -huh. cook. a cook. Okay. Linda is a cook. <laughs> yes, that's it. That's it. Linda is a cook. Very good. Now you, Sanaida. I'm, so, I'm no. sorry. I, I lost. <laughs> no, don't be sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Now you have to ask a question, Sanaida, to someone else. Oh, okay. Um, Linda. <laughs> Okay, Linda. <laughs> okay. Uh, Linda, what does Kevin do in the chief? Kevin is a cook. Okay. Good. Now you, Linda. Okay. Uh, Ana Marisol. Okay. Who, are, who are the cashier in the afternoon shift? Mm -hmm. Who are the cashier? Um, uh, Pamela and Karen are the cashier in the afternoon shift. Perfect. Very good. Now you, Marisol. Okay. Um, um, Irma? Irma, Irma. Hi. Hi. Okay. <laughs> what is the what is the schedule of Oscar Sagrario? Uh -huh. Terrible, Marisol. Terrible. <laughs> 
So, excuse me, excuse me, repeat, please, question. <laughs> okay. What is the schedule of Oscar Sagrario? Uh, you or the work is uh, mm, the question mm. is the schedule, Irma. Oscar Sagrario's schedule. Okay. Oscar Sagrario schedule is 4 p.m. and 10 p.m. Ah, muy bien. Perfect. Solo una cosita. ¿Cómo se dice ese A? 4 p.m. a 10 p.m. A-M. A-I-M. No, no, no. ¿Cómo se dice ese A? Cuando usted dice 4 p.m. dijo a 10 p.m. A-T-P-A. No, las horas están bien. Tú. La pregunta es ese A. Ah. ¿Cómo se dice? Two, ten. Two, okay. Ten. Four p.m. to ten p.m. Good. Ten. Now you, Irma, ask your question. Ah, pero es que yo no sé cómo es la question. <laughs> Estoy perdida, teacher. Dos días que no he estado aquí. Okay. A ver, pre pregunte. Yo le voy a soplar una pregunta. Solo dígame quién. Ángel. Uh, no. Ángel, Ángel is not here. No está. No. Ok, uh, Carolina. Caroline, where is Caroline? Yes, teacher. Oh, yeah, I see you there. Ok. Oh. Ok, vaya. Eh, este, Irma. Quiero preguntarle por Carlos Guardián. Carlos Guardián. Ok. Yes, for the taker. Ok. Entonces, um, le preguntamos. Eh, who is in charge of taking? No. Porque exactamente que por Carlos Guardián. Ok. Eh, What shoulder. is Carlos Guardián? In charge of. In what? Charge of. Okay, listen. What mm. is Carlos Guardian in charge of? What is Carlos Guardian should in charge oh. of? What is Carlos Guardian in charge of? In charge. Oh, okay. In charge. Uh, Carolina. Off. off. Aquí estoy. Off. Aquí estoy. Off. Okay. What uh, is uh, what is Carlos Guardian share charge of? In charge of. In charge of. Uh, Carlos Carlo, Carlo Guardian uh, in charge uh, order taker. Um, of uh, no at at ten a.m. at um uh, three thirty p.m. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. A ver. A ver. Pulamos esa frase. Uh -huh. Carlos Guardián está en cargo de tomar órdenes. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo decimos eso? Taking orders. Ajá, taking orders. Ajá, taking orders. Pero eh, sería eh, Carlos uh -huh. Guardián eh, Está. Está, ajá. 
eh, are is is singular no. ah singular ajá Carlos Guardián is take orders no Se... está a cargo de is in, is in charge ah is in charge is in oh. charge takes order takes order taker eh, at ten I am um uh, three three p.m. PM. Bye. Uh -huh. Solo que estamos hablando de lo que hace y no de puesto. Porque cuando usted me dice in charge of order taker, uh -huh. ese es el puesto. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Él es el tomador de órdenes. De órdenes. Uh -huh. Pero para decir la acción decimos Carlos Guardián is in charge of taking orders. ¿Ya? Uh -huh. A cargo de tomar órdenes. Órdenes. Ah, es take care uh -huh. of. Uh -huh. Taking orders. Ah, take, ah, taking orders. Sí. Uh -huh. Y después de taking orders. From 10 a.m. Ah, from, ah, el horario. To 3.30 p.m. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Carlos Guardian is Carlos in charge Guardian of. In this chart. In okay. This chart. Re repeat after me. <laughs> Carlos Guardian. Carlos Guardian. Is in charge of. In charge of. Taking orders. Taking orders. 10 a.m. 10 p.m. 10 a.m. To 3.30 p.m. To three okay, very good. Very good. Thank you. Okay, now is your time to ask a question, Caroline. Okay. Um a quien? Vamos a ver. It's up to you. Uh, okay. Uh, how many cooks are there in the restaurant? Okay. A quién? Um, uh, Silvia Sulaima. Okay, Sulaima. Hi. Do you hear the question? Hello. Okay. Silvia. Uh, How hello. many? Hello. How many cooks are there in the restaurant? Okay. Okay. There are four cooks in okay. the restaurant. Yes, yes, perfect. Now your turn, Sylvia. Okay. Um, um, Sylvia? Okay. Um, who are in, in who are in chairs? Ooh, la perdimos. Who are in chair? Hola. Hello. Who, who are in chair the waiter in the afternoon shift? Oh. Hal, Hale Duque and Oscar Sagrario are in chair of the waiter in the afternoon shift. Okay, are in charge of, let me share here. No confundan acciones con puestos, con posiciones. Ok, porque acá en este tipo de preguntas que tenemos en el libro, por ejemplo, estamos preguntando por acciones. ¿Quién está a cargo de tal actividad, de tal acción? Ya. Yeah. 
eh, eh, para no responder con puestos. Tienen que responder con actividad. ¿Ya? Y vean cómo se pregunta esto. Cómo está acá planteado. Who is in charge of waiting tables? Aquí este caso se pregunta in the morning shift. Waiting tables. Es lo que hace el waiter. ¿Verdad? Waiting tables. Acá se nos pregunta, who is in charge of managing the restaurant? Es lo que hace el manager. Pero la pregunta va dirigida hacia la actividad. En este caso. Diferente es si preguntamos quién es el manager del restaurant. Ahí estoy preguntando puesto. Who is the manager of the restaurant? Ok. O si pregunta, what does, eh, ¿cómo se llamaba la chica? Jennifer. What does Jennifer do? Ah, she is the manager. Entonces, eh, eh, cuando decimos encargo de o a cargo de, estamos hablando de la, de la acción, de la actividad. Ok. Ok, Who is in charge? Uh, ya se me olvidó la pregunta de su, Silvia Pero the, era waiter. Lo, the waiter la, who is in charge ah, in the afternoon yes ok entonces cómo sería la respuesta Silvio For the action teacher. Ajá, eso es lo que eh, está preguntando. Hayley Duque en Oscar are, are in charge of the waiting table on the of the afternoon shift. Okay. 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 Ellie and Oscar are in charge of waiting the tables in the afternoon shift. Very good. Now it's your turn, Silvio. Okay. Who? Linda? Linda, ya le preguntaron. Okay. Who miss? ¿Quién falta? Um, Olga, Alejandra. Olga. Okay. Teacher, I can use the cook. I can use chef in for the cook. It's the same. Uh, yeah. Usually, yes. Okay. Olga, who are the chef in the morning shift? The chef in the morning shift is. Kevin Dooley and Karen Dooley. Okay. Very good. Only remember that R. R, R yes. F R. Okay. And um, Silvio, si tú preguntas, ¿puedo usar mm -hmm. o puedo hacer? ¿Verdad? Con can es lo mismo que con todos los otros, eh, eh, ¿cómo se llaman? Auxiliares, ¿no? Va primero el auxiliar okay. y después el sujeto. Entonces, ¿cómo preguntaríamos? Incluso en español, ¿verdad? Así es. ¿Puedo? Can I, can I use the... Chef, ok. Exacto. Ok, for question. Perfect. Okay, Olga, it's your turn. ¿Quiénes faltan, teacher? Uh, falta Carlos, falta Alejandra, Miguel, Xiomara, okay, Carla. Por Miguel. Okay, Miguel. Okay, the question is. 
What does Carlos Guardian do in the restaurant? Okay. What does Carlos Guardian, Guardian do in the restaurant? Mm -hmm. uh, Carlos Guardian in the restaurant is order taken. Okay, good, very good. Uh, now, Miguel, your question. Uh, you have Carlos, Joanna, Xiomara, Carla, Vanessa. Carlos. Okay, Carlos. Uh, Carla, perdón. Uh, what is uh, the shoes? What is the shoes? Uh, Mateo Luz. What is? What is the shoes of Mateo Luz? Um, what is the schedule? Okay. Uh, schedule, pardon. What is the schedule of Mateo Luz? Con quien era? Con Carlos? O con yeah. Carla, sí, con Carlos, vale. Yeah. Uh, Mateo Luz, have a schedule. Yeah. Um, Mateo Luz, have a schedule uh, late. Or uh, 4 p.m. to 10. Bien. Todos. Ok. A ver. En esta pregunta, bueno, ya hay dos que, que hicieron esa una pregunta parecida. Cuando dicen, what is the schedule of fulano de tal? Ok, usemos uno. What is the schedule of Linda Harris? Or what is the schedule of Cynthia Lille? Um, hay otra forma de preguntar esto, que es lo más común cuando usamos posesivos. A ver, ¿quién me puede decir cómo debe ser esta pregunta? Cuando el possessive. Who, oh. What is the Oscars schedule? What is, no, no es necesario el de. Oscar's schedule. Exacto. Ok. What is Oscar's schedule? What is Cynthia Lille's schedule? Ok. What is Linda's schedule? All right. Uh, what is uh, Mateo's shift? Esa es otra forma de preguntar. ¿Cuál es el turno de Mateo? All right. Eso es lo más común, usar el, el possessive en estos casos. Ok, Carlos, your question. Okay. Um, uh, Silvia Silvia ya pasó tenemos a Carla Xiomara Alejandra 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 se nos acaba de salir Carla ok Carla Verónica yes Um, who is in charge of taking order in the afternoon shift? Okay. Mario Milano and Gustavo Wandique are in charge of taking order in the afternoon shift. 
Perfect, very good. Now your turn for the question, Carla. Okay. Um, you have Claudia, Xiomara. Uh, Xiomara. Okay. Uh, who are the cook in the morning shift? In the morning shift, they are cook. Uh, Kevin Dooley, Kevin and Karen Dooley. Okay, okay, okay. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Ordenemos bien esta oración. En el turno de la mañana, los cooks o los cocineros son. In, okay. In the morning shift, the cook are Kevin and Karen Dooley. Perfect. Only a little detail. The cooks. The cooks. The cooks. Okay. Very good. Now your questions, Yomara. You have Alejandra or Claudia. Alejandra, according to the schedule, who will work in the morning? Um, veamos. All? Let's get to, let's get to. Um, According to the schedule, who will work in the morning? Mm -hmm. All of them. Alejandra. Schedule. According to the schedule, who will work in the morning? All of them. Um, Calendario. Kimber and... Kimberly Thompson. Yeah. Cynthia Lynn. Yes. Kevin Dooley. Yes. Karen Dooley. George yes. Milano. Carlos Guardian. Walter Omo. And Matthew Tui. Tui. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Very good. Um... La pregunta. The question, your question is in present or in future? In present. Repeat your question. According to the schedule, who will work future? Future. Ah. Who will work in the morning? <laughs> Yo solo yes. el calendario de la mañana. <laughs> yes, okay. Y estaría bien si es un calendario, es un horario que todavía no está funcionando. Ya. Pero este calendario, este horario ya está funcionando. Entonces, yes. Yes. using here the present tense. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta en presente? According to the schedule, who works in the morning? Excellent. Very good. Who works? Okay. Who works? Perfect. Okay, people. Any question? Yo sé que a veces lo más difícil es hacer preguntas. ¿Verdad? Armar preguntas. Pero aquí hemos practicado un poco eso. Cómo armar preguntas. ¿Alguna duda? ¿Any question? Okay. 
No, ok. Teacher, una, Hola. un question, pero uh -huh. acerca del, antes que se nos olvide, acerca del trabajo de mañana, estuvimos hablando con los compañeros y we have a problem, a because ver. yo, o sea, ese día yo tenía mal señal y no sé si entendí mal, pero yo he hecho de que entendí, ¿verdad? yo comprendí que íbamos a hablar acerca de nuestro trabajo, eh, las personas que trabajan ahí y sus cargos, hacer una, mil, o sea, una mini descripción, así lo entendí yo. Pero, pero otros compañeros dicen de que estaba, que usted dijo ayer que quería un personal cover lever. ¿Cuál es la, ver cuál va a ser la, es la verdadera tarea de mañana? Ok, let me show you the document. Give me a moment. Ok. El, creo que fue el lunes. Yo les compartí este documento. Vean. Es un documento que se los dejé ahí, ¿verdad? Como información general sobre resume and cover letter. ¿Verdad? Cómo hacer un currículum y una carta de, de portada cover letter, una guía de cómo hacerlos, ¿Verdad? Porque estábamos hablando un poco de eso, de, de, de aplicar a un trabajo. Y eh, bueno, dije que el documento pues era largo, ¿No? Pero que ahí les quedaba como información general. Pero que al final las últimas tres páginas hablan de esto de la cover letter que es algo que eh, en, en español no lo usamos ¿verdad? o sea yo no sé ustedes si alguna vez han hecho una cover letter para un para un currículum pero en inglés sí ¿verdad? y alguna vez eh, presentan un currículo en inglés pues es importante que lleve una cover letter ¿Y qué es una cover letter? Pues aquí estaba la información. Why use a cover letter? Why should a cover letter accomplish? ¿Qué es, ¿Qué es el propósito? ¿Qué es lo que debe de cumplir una cover letter? When should you use a cover letter? Vean, incluso aquí dice, vean. Vamos a ampliar. Eh... A cover letter should always accompany your resume. Should you choose to apply. Ok, so siempre debe acompañar su, su currículum, una cover letter. Y acá se nos dan algunos detalles. A successful cover okay. letter should be specific and personal. Your cover letter should speak of what you have done <coughs> and what you can do for the company. También. Para, para Estados Unidos, teacher. Porque Exacto. aquí. Sí, sí, porque aquí es, es diferente. <coughs> sí, eso es decir, sí, aquí no se usa esto. Sí, aquí entre, entre más páginas, menos, menos atractivo sería el, el CV. Exacto. ¿Verdad? Eh, entonces, eh, 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 en inglés, para una compañía en inglés, ¿verdad? Una compañía extranjera, pues sí, tiene una cover letter. Lleva un poco de, de lo que usted ha investigado, una pequeña información, lo que usted entiende del, de, su, de su campo de trabajo, ¿verdad? Eh, y dice que, que, que conserve copias. Acá está una checklist. Una checklist es donde usted, después de haber hecho su carta, usted revisa si está 
si cumple con estos requisitos, ¿verdad? Give your cover letter to one page of three to four paragraphs. Es uno, solo una página. So, cover letter no es, como dice Silvio, un gran documento. Es una, una página. Eh, ¿Qué? Y aquí pues están los las cosas que debe de incluir, que usted revisa. Ah, si dice esto, si dice esto, si dice esto. Ajá. Es de, de tal forma. ¿Verdad? Y aquí un, un formato de una cover letter. Una dirección. Company name. ¿Verdad? ¿Quién va dirigido? Last name only, solo, solo la pido. Los tres párrafos que debe de incluir. Porque usted está escribiendo esta carta, ¿verdad? ¿Qué tiene que ofrecer? No. Eh... ¿Cómo le dará seguimiento a esta solicitud? Básicamente. Entonces, eso es una cover letter. No lo leímos ahí porque ya no nos quedó tiempo. Ahora, de que, de que vean de qué se trata el, el, una cover letter. ¿Y qué hicieran una pequeña cover letter? Como que ustedes están aplicando para un trabajo. Es una parte de presentación. Exacto. Ustedes están presentando. Recuerden que es lo, lo primero que le llega. Ok. Eh, Thanks, teacher. Y esta, teacher, una consulta. ¿Y esta tiene que ir dirigida a la empresa o dirigida a una persona específica? Porque yo la he hecho como que se le he dirigido a... a digamos al al eh, manager o el sí, si usted sabe no quién es le, le pone ahí igual ah okay dear Mr. Mrs. I eh, don't know Ramírez uh -huh. ya yes eso es una yes. cover letter Ahora, tranquilo, no es así que esto no es examen ni nada, ¿no? Es practice. Es para practicar y, y que ustedes se expresen, se expresen ahí por escrito, ¿verdad? Y tampoco la tienen que mandar, ¿verdad? Aquí lo puede revisar. No, ustedes mañana van a leer ¿verdad? como que ustedes, lo que ustedes hicieron. Ok. Ok. Teacher, una consulta fuera de todo esto. ¿Y cómo hacen para compartir en, en Zoom? Usted está en computadora. Sí. Abajo donde le aparecen las acciones, todo eso. Hay, un, hay uno que es como un globito, un cuadrito con una flechita para arriba. Share screen. Exacto. Ah, en este es. Ahí es. Mm -hmm. Ok. Thank you, teacher. No podía mm -hmm. es. Teacher attending. Hola. Attending. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Let's take the second attendance. Uy, wait. Ok, Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Miguel Ángel, ok. Uh, Olga Marlene Gómez. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present teacher. Stenaida América Domínguez. Present teacher. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Ana Delmi Herrera. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Present teacher. 
Linda Stephanie Ramírez. Present teacher. Ana Maritol Mendoza. Present. Uh, remember the personal sessions, Marisol. Yes, Nelson teacher. Evan Alfaro. Carla Verónica Zuria. Present teacher. Ángel Alexander Guardado. Ángel. Irma de los Ángeles Flores. Present teacher. Mayra Roxana Hernández. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Present. Carolina Yamilet Hernández. Present. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez. Silvia Zuleima. Silvia Enrique Cortés. Present. And Joana Beatriz Orellana. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let me share screen again. Okay. Tonight we have another conversation about activities uh, or routine at the workplace. It's very similar, this lesson, anyways. Uh, let's read the conversation, okay? Let me read the conversation. Good morning, Marcos. How is your date going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual. Checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Ah, ha, cuchillo, el Marcos. Okay, one more time. Listen. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual. Checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Hmm. Now repeat after me, please. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Good morning, Marcos. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Okay. Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. I see. I, see. I, see. I, I saw, saw some people, people in the reception when, when I, I come. Came. I come. Came. I came. Okay. Came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. Go ahead. Yes. Yes. yes, I, I rescheduled some, some of them tomorrow. Some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, what about you? 
I need to make some calls. Anyway, how about you? About you. Uh, just the usual. Checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. Just, just the usual. usual. Checking, checking that, that the person personnel is ready and ordering, ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, there are three questions about this conversation. What kind of job does Marcos have? What are some of his responsibilities? How similar are the activities they do with the ones you do? Okay. I'll give you time to practice the conversation and then uh, respond to questions, okay? Let me send you to work in pairs. Uh, okay. um, let me check if the listeners. Is yeah. Okay. Join your groups, please, and practice the conversation and respond to questions. See you in 10 minutes.
Okay, welcome back. Mm -hmm. Some of you, okay. I'm going to hear some of you. Let's see. What about um, Irma and Silvio? Can you read the conversation, please? Teacher. Okay. You begin, please. One moment. Okay. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some change in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, to schedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyway, how about you? Just the usual. Uh, checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I throw ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Perfect, very good. Thank you. Now, please, Claudia and Carla. Hola, Carla. Hi. Yes, yes. Okay. Ah, okay. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to staff about some change in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some menus. Anyway, how are you? Use the, use the usual, checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I told ordering the inventory was Janep's job. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, please. Um, let's see. Marisol and Caroline. Okay, I'm Celia. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I I see. I saw I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Yes, just the usual checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I draw ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Very good, very good. Now let's see one more, one more. Um, please, Miguel and Zenaida. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day? How is your day going? Miguel. Very good. Very good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some change in the schedule. 
I see, I saw some people in the reception, then I come, I came. Yes, let's tell you. So, hopefully tomorrow, I need to make some calls. In some minutes. Anyway, how about you? Just the usually, checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I call ordering the inventory. What? Can it go? Okay, very good. Now let's check some words here. What is the meaning of pretty here? It's not like pretty woman. No, no. What is the meaning of pretty? What is, when I say pretty good? Muy bien. Bastante bueno. Qué bien, qué bien. Muy bien. bien. Okay, so pretty, pretty is a synonym of very in this case, okay? Pretty, pretty good, pretty nice. Okay, so pretty is like very here. Bastante bien. Yeah, pretty good, very good. It's same. Okay, this pronunciation changes. Changes. Okay, singular change, plural changes. This so. Saw. I see. I saw some people in the reception. Saw. Uh, and this. I thought. 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 Um. Very good. What is the meaning of anyways? Anyways. De todo modo. Sí. En fin. Ok. Puede ser. En este caso es más que de todos modos. Es como ese. En fin. Bueno. Ya. Yeah. Es este anyways. All right. Okay, any question with the conversation? No? Perfect. Very good. Um, well, let's just read some examples of how you can describe the activities, the common activities uh, in a job. So in this case, some common tasks, tasks, tareas, responsabilidades of personnel at a restaurant. Meet the head chef to review the weekly menu. Call a marketing company about promotional souvenirs. Order the inventory. Talk to the staff about changes in the schedule. Interview potential employees. Check the weekly schedule. Uh, son algunas tareas que pueden darse en el restaurant. Ok. Esto prácticamente ya hemos hablado de esto, ¿no? Sus, your tasks, your classmates tasks, so ya hemos hablado de esto. ¿Cuáles son sus tareas, sus responsabilidades, su, su daily activity, su daily routine at work? All right. Um, 
So I will give you something to practice. Let me see. let me go here. Okay, we 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 won't have time. Esto uh, lo vamos a hacer mañana, pero para que vayan pensando. Uh, let me share again. Okay, I have here some occupations in a, in a company, okay, some people. So we have here uh, what, what, what is this? What is this job? Receptionist. Receptionist. Yeah, receptionist. <laughs> what is this? Secretary. The accountant. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Could be the accountant or the secretary. Okay. This? Nurse. 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 No, nurse. This? Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh -huh. Personal king. Okay, in one word, this is janitor. 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 No es ordenanza. No es janitor. Okay. Entonces, eh, voy a compartir esto ahí en el WhatsApp para que en sus tiempecitos puedan pensar. What are the tasks of this? people in the company okay what are some uh, responsibilities for the receptionist what are some responsibilities for the secretary what are some responsibilities for the nurse and what are some responsibilities for the janitor okay so think about that and uh, maybe tomorrow you are going to, well, not maybe, yeah, tomorrow. That is the, on Friday, we always review our, our work during the week. Uh, you are going to make sentences about these people's responsibilities in the company, okay? Very good. Just let me send this to WhatsApp para que lo tengan ahí y puedan oh, los que quieran ¿verdad? empezar a a tomar a hacer let's see here there you go the responsibilities of a receptionist of a secretary of a nurse a janitor, and what was the other one? Receptionist, secretary, nurse, and janitor. Yeah, four. All right. And the letter, the cover letter. And that, uh, Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Tomorrow, uh, we have the presentation for. I don't know, I don't remember how do you say curriculum and the cover letter. No, 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 only the cover letter. Ah, okay. Only the cover letter. Thanks a lot. Okay. Okay, okay, let's take the last attendance then. Remember, tomorrow you must finish the exercises the, for section two and the midterm exam, all right? Okay. Now let's start from the bottom to the top. Joanna Beatriz Orellana. 
Present teacher. Okay, Joanna, thank you for attending today. See you tomorrow. See you. Silvio Enrique Cortez. Present. Good night. Okay, good night, Silvio. See you tomorrow. Silvia Suleyma Rodriguez. Present teacher. Good night, Silvia. See you tomorrow. Carolina Jamile Hernandez. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you See for you attending. Tomorrow. See you. Hoy si me duermo, teacher. Okay, go to bed. Uh, Carlos Alberto Melendez. Present teacher. Very good. Mm -hmm. See you um, well, Let's see, Mayra Roxana Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay. Have a good night. Irma de Los Angeles Flores. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Good night, teacher. Ángel Alexander Guardado. Carla Verónica Suria. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Good night. Nelson Iván Alfaro. Uh, Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present. Okay, don't go. Linda Stephanie okay. Ramirez. Present teacher. Good, see you tomorrow. Alejandra Van Mora. Present teacher. Very good, night. good. Good night. Ana Del Herrera. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Present okay. teacher. Okay, Xiomara, good night. Senaida America. Good night, teacher. Senaida. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Have a nice uh, night. Thank you, Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Good night. Olga Marleni Gomez. Present teacher. Thank you, good night. Good and night, teacher. Miguel Angel Dominguez. Very good. Good night, people. See you tomorrow. Okay, Marisol. Ah, let's see. Let's talk okay. about. Okay. How, how how have you been doing these days? I have worked in the morning and. Mm. In the afternoon, I have I have studied from mm. four p.m. to to six p.m. Oh, what are you studying? I was studying English. Ah, okay, great. Yes. Another class. <laughs> yes. And um, what what about the people in in the hotel? So you, you said that you practice a lot of English with them. Yes. For example, today only English. Oh really? Yes. Yeah, that's why your hotel is kind of expensive. Yes, very expensive. <laughs> Only in... But we have uh, people the another countries. Yes, this week with the. Now, when was the, the Bitcoin conference? Um, yeah. was Did very you... yeah full. Full. Yeah. Okay. What is uh, something interesting that you have learned from these people? I'm sorry. Could tell me, repeat? tell me something interesting that you have learned from these people, the people that you see in the hotel. So, tell me something curious, something interesting. 
Um, about English? Ah, uh, yeah, about English, customs, um, I don't know, different things. Uh, I don't understand the question, sorry. Okay, I'm, you see very, uh, you see a lot of people from different countries. Ah, uh, yes. Different customs, different habits, different tastes, whatever. So what is something strange that you have learned from them? For example, all um, people from Canada like this, or people from uh, Europe, they are like this. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure, teacher. <laughs> Sorry. No. No, I'm not sure. Ah, okay. Um, but are about they about sounds of the uh, okay. English? It's very different. If some people speak um, very different in speak English, um, uh, it's very difficult for me to understand. Yes. For example, from the China. Oh, no. Very different. <laughs> yeah. I was speaking with, with one person and I didn't understand. <laughs> this terrible their accent yeah. is terrible yes. yeah i have i have sometimes i have calls from doctor chinese doctors or nurses uh, oh. you work in the in the company of calls i work for a company as an interpreter I, oh, okay mm -hmm. you receive a lot of calls um in english all all my calls english only because, english well for example i'm working with uh, in the medical uh, area now so i receive call from nurses but doctors and they speak english they are american Oh, and okay. the, the patients are Latinos. Oh, so okay. I interpret for them two ways. To the, oh, perfect. It's very yeah. interesting. Yes, it's very nice. It's different from a call center because I, oh. I am not dealing with their problem. Okay. Yes, if they are, if the client is mad or the patient is mad, it's not with me, it's with the other person. Okay. I'm just the interpreter. Okay. Okay. That's nice. And, yeah, and I receive a lot of calls. A lot of calls. But you said today only have two yeah, calls. Yeah, today I just had two calls because it's thanksgiving yes i i know that in the usa is holiday it's a holiday yeah so today was very calm oh nice <laughs> yes so chinese like i don't know like from india or or these people that speak uh, yeah, so their accents are it's very different. And also, the other day in Spanish, I had a problem because <laughs> people speak with their own idioms. For example, a lady said, hey, oh, le, le, the, the nurse was asking if she eats fruit. And she said, oh, si, sí, si, sí, a mí me encantan las chinas. <laughs> so what is that? Okay. <laughs> and for Puerto Ricans, chinas are oranges. Oranges? Oranges, yeah. Oh. 
So they call oranges chinas. Oh, okay. So, and sometimes they, um, before I started with medical calls, I received calls from different companies, electricity companies, gas companies. And for example, the, como le dicen al, al, al calentador? Uh, el calentón. Calent. Okay. El calentón. So it's, it's the heater. No, the, uh, the water. The hot yeah. water. <laughs> yes, the calentón. Y así, o sea, palabras de Raras. guanos, yeah, Cubans or Puerto Rican. And so they have their own words and they speak kind of different. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, so. So I know what you're talking about when you said it's difficult to understand Chinese, Indian. Yes. No. When I, when I speak uh, French. Oh, so, yeah, must be difficult. It's, it's a little difficult. <laughs> the pronunciation is, is different. When, when I, yes, when I didn't understand, um, I am really but <laughs> <laughs> to, yeah. today I was talking with two people. Uh, I speak one 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 people one one person to speak French, and I didn't understand. And in the afternoon, I'm very <laughs> very bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you're going to need to learn another language in the future. <laughs> yes. What is another common language besides the English there? Um, French, maybe. Okay. Yeah. I, I was talking with a girl yesterday told me that uh, French is similar to Spanish. Yes, because it's uh, uh, comes from Latin. You know, yes. like French, Italian, Portuguese, uh, Spanish, they come from Latin. So they have similarities, but not everything. Yes. Yes, Interesting. okay. Interesting job, but okay, so you have a chance to practice. Others don't have that opportunity. Yes, okay. Uh -huh. We have two classes. Two classes. So, yes, practice. in the in the afternoon uh, on Tuesday and on Thursday, two hours. And from Monday to Friday, two hours per day. And I practice in the in my work. Good for you. Good for yes. you. Okay, you could apply for a call center <laughs> if you want. <laughs> uh, on on when I I I speak. Uh, with the fun and and how how do you say in llamada or in call 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 mm -hmm. is a little difficult understand. Oh yeah, I I, I need to practice uh, about calls. Ah okay. Yes. Yeah, could be. Yeah. Yeah, that happens to me. Also, sometimes the connection. Ah, uh, yes, it's bad. Or, for example, the one of the most difficult parts of this job is that, for example, the patient and the doctor are in the same room, and they have the cell phone on a speaker. Ah, and, okay. Yes, and sometimes the room 
makes an like an echo or yes. there's a lot of noise yeah it's, it's a little difficult to understand yes sometimes it's more difficult yeah but it's interesting okay <laughs> Marisol nice nice talking thank you okay. teacher have a good thank night thank you for your time okay good night okay. bye bye bye